Coin Ops Arcade Gold by Brittany Pears, bringing us this kind of uh, expanded uh, Coin Ops Diamond style build and expanded meaning more uh, higher, newer generation games, um, kind of expanding on those collections, more Street Fighters, more Metal Slugs, more Mortal Kombats, uh, 950 games in total, um, ready to go, just plug and play, you boot it up for your PC, uh, running really good, doesn't have a whole lot of uh, machine requirements, and as you see, it's just gorgeous, looking at those marquees, those arcades, the bezels, um, it's really beautiful, and with the Xbox 360 controller, it's just plug and play. No controller setup, it's just double click, and you're gaming. So let's go ahead and dive into this one and see what's on here. First boot, you just click in arcades. I have an Xbox 360 controller hooked up. Should just boot right up, arcade gold. And remember, this is the plus edition. That's why we're seeing 940 seven games. Let's just go straight into favorites. What are Brittany Pear's favorite games, and I've been playing around with this. I've played some games on it, and it is beautiful. Look at all this beauty right here. Really, really nice, um, and the best of the best games. You might be wondering, well, Drew, you did a video on Coin Ops Diamonds. You were, you know, praising it, and I was. And some of the differences I've seen so far between these two builds is, for example, this is a Dreamcast game. You're not going to find console games on the Diamonds build, and if you are, it's the, if they're like mostly Super Nintendo. You're not going to see any, you're not going to have the Daphne games, you're not going to have the Naomi games, you're not going to have the Thomas Wave, the Dreamcast, and you're not going to have the PlayStation 3, the Afterburner game. And so there's, it, it, a lot of this comes down to the collection, one. Two is just how plug and play this is. You're going to wobbly want this as is. You know, most people are going to get this and just play it as is. Um, if you want those mega mega collections, then go and get Coin Ops Next Two and Next Three. I hear is coming out soon, um, and then you can build a mega collection that way. There's so many builds out there. So right here is the Arcade Gold Plus Edition. The Non Plus Edition has uh, half of half as many games on it. This is kind of an attract mode, as you see here. I got these menus. Let's go back to favorites, though. We're gonna go through all this in a second. And here you go, you got Mario Kart GP. This is a Triforce game. Uh, you also have number two, but it's later in the video. You'll see Marvel's Capcom. You got your Metal Slugs. It actually goes all the way up to Metal Slug 6, but we're only in favorites right now. What are his favorites? And uh, you'll see as we go through this video, it's got generations and generations of games. Everything from the really retro to some of the newer ones. Nothing super new though, not like Street Fighter 4 or Street Fighter 5. You're not going to have any of that kind of stuff on here. Um, I saw one of the questions, I was watching some videos that people have already posted of this. So, uh, Soul Calibur HD, Naomi. Um, so I've been listening, there's your Daphne game, you got Space Ace. Um, I believe you have two, a couple Daphne games. You got a ton of Street Fighters, you're going to see later. It's got everything from Street Fighter 2 all the way up to Street Fighter Alpha 2, Street Fighter the movie. You're going to see that all in a second. So as I mentioned, so these are just the favorites and I want to show you this first because this really showcases the build and all the interesting things it has to, has in it. So, but as you see, if you go to all in the lower right corner there, you have a total of 147, 947. And as far as options, you really just have glass on, it turns on the glass, like you're looking through a glass uh, CRT and then the scan lines on or off and the bezels on or off. Other than that, it's mostly just all games. Now consoles, I turn this into um, TVs. I think TVs look cooler because you get the video snap, the preview of the game, but there's custom posters being made. And you're going to hear me say this quite a few times in this video, which is just how beautiful this really is. And you know, you have this TV or those custom made posters. Now, as far as console games themselves, a few Game & Watch, you got some, uh, some Sega Genesis, some uh, Super Nintendo, as you're seeing, and uh, there's definitely some Naomi, Thomas Wave. Uh, Dreamcast style games and then there's one PlayStation 3 game which is the uh, Afterburner game. Now I don't know if he put that in yeah see he didn't actually put the Afterburner in consoles you can see that that's under uh, shoot 'em ups we go over here to Afterburner A so we'll go through the Lemmers, Aero Fighters there you go Afterburner Climax this is a PlayStation 3 game but let's go ahead and keep going down the list we just went from consoles now to racers Racing games, there's only 40, but there's some newer ones like Ridge Racer 1 and 2 and Crazy Taxi. And then you have some, you know, Daytona USA 2. This is your uh, Sega Supermodel game. 
way cool, a lot of fun. You also have Sega Rally on here, and you've got the Mario Kart GP1 and 2. This is the arcade version of Mario Kart, for those of you who haven't played it before. you got, like, classic OutRun, so that's what I was saying, generations. you got everything from classic OutRun all the way up to uh, Ridge Racer 2, and then Sega Rally, one of the newer games right here, Sega Rally Championship. Way nicer graphics compared to some of these other games. Um, speaking of graphics, and, uh, you know, I talked about the Climax, Afterburner Climax game. That um, is, you know, that PlayStation 3 emulator definitely is a little more taxing on your CPU, GPU combination here. Now, a lot of people ask me what am I running this on? Why is it so smooth? You know, coin ops in general running on Retro FE is just smooth in general. So, you know, you can run all this stuff just fine on, you know, any dual to quad core CPU. You don't even really need a dedicated graphics card. But then when it comes to the actual, this is what I loved about the two, it had all four NBA Jam games here. Oh, and it has a lot of the golf games as well, so if you have trackball, a lot of fun there. Uh, but like I was saying, with minimum machine requirements, it, it comes down to the emulator after that. Uh, so puzzle games is gonna be your Tetris, your Lemmings, your, your Bubble Bobble, all that fun stuff. And it does have the two variants of Tetris, the classic, and then the, the, the absolute Grandmaster 2, which is a really interesting uh, version of Tetris if you haven't played it, and you're a Tetris fan. Now, shoot 'em ups as you see here, 153 games. So if you're into shoot 'em ups you know, you definitely need to pick this up. It has a lot of Japanese titles, a lot of American titles, you know, North, you know uh, European titles, but all over. Uh, a lot of cool variants. Everything's from verticals to horizontals. A uh, lot of fun here. So back to system requirements, when it comes to the PlayStation 3 emulator, yeah, you're going to need something a little nicer. Um, but that is kind of one of the bigger differences between this and Diamonds, is that, like I said, it's, you know, you don't really change the look. But look at how good this looks. Like, you have the, the, the marquees, you have the screen on the left, the screen on the right, they're already still playing even when I transition. Uh, really buttery smooth transi transitions. You get to really see the, the beauty of these arcade cabinets from you know, some of them use spinners, some of them used uh, joysticks, some of them used, uh, so it's a nice history there. Um, you can check out the stickers without actually buying any stickers. You can see the marquees glowing. Uh, so just, you can see where the different speaker placements are. You can see the different like bezels they had around the screen. Speaking of bezels, when you load these games, they all have really great custom bezels. But uh, I was talking about this versus diamonds. And, uh, you know, you really don't change the way it looks. It kind of stays in that attract mode. You can turn off attract mode, though. There's that option in settings when you exit, go to the go to the advanced configurations. You can play around, actually, with the looks quite a bit there, even if you have, like, a second marquee screen and things like that, which I'll go over later in the video. Salamander 1 and 2 are here. Uh, but, uh, it's kind of, you know, to me, it's it's a really nice plug-and-play. Speaking of, of it, it's about 30 gigabytes download. It's shy, just shy of 30 for the plus version. If you want the non-plus version, it's uh, like 10 gigabytes or less. But it's not gonna have, you know, like the PlayStation 3 games on it. It's not gonna have the second, uh, the Thomas Wave, the second Model 2, those type of games on it. So um, there are two variants of this, the plus version and the non-plus version. Uh, this was created from my understanding from Britney Pears and uh, it's their collection you know, uh, of games. So Fighters now, we got 103. You gotta check out this Street Fighter uh, collection. It's pretty wild. It has all the Mortal Kombat's from one up to Ultimate Mortal Kombat. Killing Instinct 1 and 2, King of Fighters, lots of King of Fighters. Last Blade, Marvel versus uh, Marvel Superheroes, then Marvel Superheroes versus Street Fighter, then Marvel. Uh, what's the difference between these two? There's probably just two variants. Oh, Boss. This is the Boss Edition. And then Marvel Capcom 1 and 2, or Clash of Superheroes. And then you go MK1, 2, 3. And then Ultimate Marvel Kombat is U, so you have to pass through Punch Out. And uh, I think we gotta go through all the Street Fighters too before we did the last Marvel Kombat. So Soul Calibur, there's also, this is the arcade version, there's also Soul Calibur HD for Thomas Wave that's included on here as well. So like I said, ton of Street Fighters. One, two, three, third strike, alpha, EX, and the movie. Super punch out. So you have punch out and then you have super punch out. Tekken, Tekken Tag, Tekken 3, Time Killer. Really fun game here with a lot of cool props. So there's your ultimate Mortal Kombat as we round this out uh, till the end. And then wrestling games at the end. And a couple more X Men for Street Fighter. 
So run and gun, you got 109. This is a lot. Altered Beast, a lot of classic games on here. Um, I'll share a little bit more about, you know, I, I got this on an Xbox 360 controller. It works great outside the box. You can absolutely use like an Xbox One controller or a PlayStation 3, 4 controller. Um, you know, this is on a PC, uh, so it's not for the Raspberry Pi. A lot of these games would not run on the Raspberry Pi 4, so you'll see some of the more, uh, you know, like the PS3 emulator, the Sega Mob 2, the, the um, Triforce games, the, those, those uh, Mario Kart games. Uh, but it's a pretty simple uh, download. Here you got Metal Slugs one through six, and this is this is a good difference to show you. Like uh, Metal Slug six for Thomas Wave is I don't believe is on like Coin Ops Diamond, so he really rounds out a lot of these collections of games and just expands on it quite a little bit. Um, and I think that's why I'm doing this video is I do think it's worthy of a review that it's combining the looks feel of coin ops diamonds but with a kind of a, a more personalized collection and um you know pre-set up you know the, the it's all ready for you to play all the emulators are pre-configured including like i said you might be wondering well they were done on coin ops time well you know the second model two the triforce the daphne some of those emulators that are really um there's a steep learning curve you know, from going from knowing nothing to getting them working to your to your liking. So I think we're on beat em ups now. And we've got the Golden Axe. Quite a few games here. MJ Moonwalker. And I know I'm going fast here, I apologize. I'm gonna play some of the game Slaughterhouse in a little bit. We got all your two in the turtles. I'll be playing some of the game to show you like the bezels and you know how well they play. And then last is old school. This one I'm just gonna go super fast because it's all diamonds. It's all the same games you see on all the builds. Your Burger Times, your Pac-Mans, your Defenders, Dig Dug, Dr. Kongs. Uh, you do have Dragon's Lair. So you have Dragon's Lair and Space Ace for the Daphne. Uh, in case you're wondering. I get that a lot. Another question I saw somebody else post was, does it have any pinball games? I haven't really, if it does, it has like maybe one or two, and they're not, you know, it does, definitely doesn't have pinball effect, it doesn't have virtual pinball, it doesn't have future pinball, none of that is on here. I think that would, I think there are some coin ops next two builds that have like pinball builds in them, and uh, you know, there's a lot of pinball builds out there, I've done videos on that. So there's your space ace. And remember I started this video off with the, um, was showing you the favorites already and you can add or remove favorites really easily um, and that's it let's go ahead and go into some of the details so as far as the file system itself it's pretty standard you're going to download it and you'll have zip files here just click the first one seven zip extract it and uh, when you extract it you'll be left with a folder here and that's pretty much it if this is your first time doing coin ops you definitely want to do make sure you have you know these read distros uh, installed in DirectX 9 um, and I just click on here, double click Coin Ops Arcade, put in the Xbox 360 controller, you're good to go. You can edit your controls here, restore your controls here. Um, in advanced configurations, if you have it, this is where it's really cool if you're doing like a bar top or an arcade, you really have a lot of, uh, you know, uh, a customization as far as like having a set screen, changing the aspect ratio, um, you know, turning on settings and, and off. Um, I actually want to turn mine on. I want to check those out later in the video. Uh, zero delay, turn on the enables, console posters with logo or without or, or television. Um, we're going to check those out too. Swap main screen. So a lot of really easy ways to, to customize this to your liking as well as depending on your setup. Like do you have one monitor? Do you have two monitors? Uh, do you have a CRT monitor? You know, what are you running this on? Um, as far as emulators, you have the PS3 emulator here for Afterburner, the game. You have a couple Daphne games on here. Uh, you have a couple Triforce games, uh, Mario Kart GP1 and 2. Um, Sega Model 3, uh, let's see what games you have on here. Um, Sega Rally 2, I forget what these two are, Daytona, I want to say, and Scud P. I, you're going to have to Google that one. I just That's not ringing a bell at the moment. I guess we can open up the UI here and just see exactly what those are. Um, only available games. Daytona USA and Sega Rally 2. And then uh, Triforce is part of the MotoGP 1 and 2. Uh, Dolphin Triforce, Triforce. And then you have MAME. 
uh, which is most of your games are going to run on RAM and RetroArch, your 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 consoles, your Sega and your Sega Genesis and your Super uh, Nintendo. So let's jump into some games here. Here we have Super Nintendo, we have F-Zero, pretty standard game, right? So Bezel, you got the Super NES, the, the North American version variant of the uh, of the system on as your bezel. And uh, as you see, you got the scan lines on. Uh, you could turn those off. I think glass is on as well right now. Uh, and uh, looks really cool and classic. So here's just showing you those uh, posters. Now we're doing a Ridge Racer 2. Uh, I'm using my analog, my 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 rear analog uh, buttons, bumper, uh, not the, the triggers on the back, not bumpers. And uh, I guess you'd call them R2, you'd be using for your gas here. And uh, look, it runs great. You know, another really great classic arcade game. I can't figure out how to change my view though. I couldn't figure out, because I think you could change your view to just be able to see the car in front of you. But um, yeah, cool little game. Got third place, not bad. But again, uh, this one, the bezel's a little more standard. It's just a little flag. Um, you'll notice the next game, Sega Rally uh, 2, probably one of the best graphics games on here besides uh, the, the PlayStation 3 game. And uh, fun, fun, fun game. You like to ride loose, you know. This is, this is, this is it. But um, you'll notice no bezels. You'll also notice the res is kind of low. I could probably play around with that. Um, you know, this the second Model 2, second Model 3, like I said earlier in the video, I like this build because it's plug and play. I didn't mess with this emulator at all. I'm running all default settings. So, you know, you can absolutely change the resolution. You could change the, uh, the screen, whether you want full screen or windowed screen. All that stuff is customizable within the emulator, which you would just find in the emulator folder in the main directory. Uh, it's that easy to do. Did not do so well here, but had fun losing. And then here's the uh, Naomi, the, the um, uh, you know what game I'm trying to talk about, uh, Soul Calibur. And uh, that's it for this build. So we went through the whole collection, we went through some games. I'm digging it, like I said, for a plug and play. I love it. It's great. That's what I think. Let me know what you all think. Don't forget to like, subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one.